What is the definition of courage? Number one, the ability to do something that frightens one. Number two, strength in the face of pain or grief. You know, I just heard an amazing story, and I'll tell you in a second. But, you know, somebody who can hit rock bottom in their life, or even go off to war, to experience tragedy and chaos, and actually hit rock bottom and then turn it around and get back on their feet, what does that take? What does it take? It takes courage. It takes confidence. What's the definition of confidence? Confidence is your ability, your belief in your own ability to figure things out. Do you believe in your ability to figure things out? Well, it's not so easy if your self-esteem is down, if your confidence is low, right? So what is that going to take to get you to take the leap to go off to the next step? What is it going to take? You know, I just heard an amazing story. Again, my wife is a very inspirational woman. We're sitting down eating some dinner. And um, she has become friends with... Uh, a Sandy Bauer from Vets Returning Home. And here, here's a lady who has literally given her life to help uh, homeless veterans get back on their feet. And this is so inspiring. Listen, a guy my age, she, my wife just told me a story about a guy my age who literally, he went off to war, he came back, he was homeless and depressed and living in this uh, this facility because this Vets Returning Home is a nonprofit organization, right? This guy goes out, finds a job, right? He's my age. Somehow he gets his act together. I mean, finds a job, somehow gets a truck and a trailer. And I saw his, his ad on Facebook now. He's got his own junk removal and landscaping business. Amen, right? And I saw, I saw the truck and the trailer and the ad and the marketing wasn't too great, but it was there. And I could feel the courage inside of his very post. That now this man has got his own business, he's got a place now, and he's back on his feet. What did it take in those cold, lonely, dark nights by himself when he questioned? Did he question if he could even get it together again? I believe there's a singular moment, a singular moment where you snap. And that's the moment where you... You just get the courage and you leap out on faith. Excuse me, I just ate. It was some good dinner. You get the courage and you leap out on faith. It's like an exciting feeling that wells up inside of you that actually makes you look within and say, I can do this. I can do this. I've got this. Place your bets on yourself. Place your bets on yourself, on your education personal development, worthiness. If you hear, if you hear yourself saying bad things about yourself, right? There's an amazing book uh, back from like the 70s called What What Do You Say When You Talk to Yourself? That was actually pretty amazing. What do you say when you talk to yourself? If you ever hear yourself saying, hey, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, but yeah, it's not going to work because and you start thinking of all the reasons why something won't work. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Tell me something right now. What chances do you have in it even working if you're already telling yourself it's not going to work? Your chances get greatly diminished because your head trash, you're already telling yourself it's not going to work. And you're looking and you're building your case, right? Some of the reasons that you have are absolutely true. Of course, or you wouldn't be saying it, right? But why you got to put a big highlighter and underline under every reason why it won't work? When you do that, what you're doing is you're negating and you're, you're just creating a, 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 a line that blocks off all the reasons why it will work. Can you at least give yourself that credit or that benefit of just believing for a moment that it will work? Look at all these, these beautiful flowers and all these tulips all over the place sprouting. How is this even possible? Right? How is that possible? Because if you look, if you look, if you look at the dirt before they grow, you look at this garden bed, it's impossible. I don't see anything growing there. Impossible. Yet they grow. I'm fired up. So what's courage? Courage is the ability to stand 
and act anyways in the face of fear. And uh, confidence is the belief in your own ability to figure things out. Go get it.